So let's just say you want to work on Maya using your Chromebook via Citrix web app. You've probably noticed by now that you don't have access to your alt or option commands. So you won't be able to rotate, pan around, or zoom using your alt button combined with either the left, middle, or right mouse button, which is a very big pain because those are three very important hotkeys and commands that are pretty much required to be able to use in order to navigate and model characters. So what I'm going to do is show you a quick fix to allow you to have those keys back, at least in a usable way. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go to Windows, Settings, Slash Preferences, and we're going to go to the Hotkey Editor. So the Hotkey Editor is this window right here, and it basically shows you a nice keyboard layout right here. Everything that's lit up in this teal color is assigned keys, and anything that's grayed out is unassigned. And if I hit Alt or Option, it'll show me what they look, what other ones are set up without it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change my hotkeys for at least two of those commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says Edit Hotkeys for. I'm going to go to Choose a Character Category, and I'm going to go to Other Items. Now, once we get into other items, there's going to be a very long list. And we're going to look for where it says navigation. I'm going to click the little arrow to bring down these. And the ones we're going to focus on are the tumble tool and the track tool. So the tumble tool is basically your rotate tool around a scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my keyboard right here, and I'm going to set it to 8, since that's one of the few buttons that aren't being used right now. So I'm just going to tap in 8, and now it will light up just like that. If you want to set it to something else, you can. I don't think it will let you use things like Tab, Caps Lock, or Shift. I don't recommend Shift anyway, but any of those type buttons usually just actual keys. So you either have 8, 9, uh, semicolon, and apostrophe. So kind of limited choices. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Track Tool, and I'm going to set that to 9. And now both of those are lit up. And as you can see, if I look at my hotkey set, I have Maya default duplicate, because the duplicate, uh, the regular default is locked, so we never want to change that. And I'm going to hit save and close. So now what happens is if I hit the 8 key on my keyboard, it will now switch to the rotate tool. The only problem with it is I will have to hit Q or one of the other tools at any time to get out of that tool because it actually will show up as a regular tool. And the same thing will go for 9 for panning around. And I can switch between the two. I didn't set one for zoom because you can just use the regular zoom in for features for using uh, the two fingers and just zooming in. But for rotating and panning, this seemed like the best fix. So there you go. I hope this is very useful.